Hi, this is ET370, lecture 13. Uh, this will be a two-part lecture. Uh, the first part I know we'll cover a lot is uh, some logic, useful logical properties, uh, these De Morgan's laws. And uh, the reason why we're putting this lecture together because we're gonna use this to show that a NAND gate can be used to create all the other logic gates. Uh, and then same with the NOR gate. Uh, in the second part, we'll look at a full and uh, half adder circuit for adding binary. All right, let's begin. So some properties that are useful um, are uh, some binary operations here. If you uh, do a multiplication, which is essentially a logical AND, and you have some signal A, which is Boolean, which means A could be one or zero. Anytime you multiply or AND something with one, you get that signal. And so what does that look like? That looks like if you have A and one, you just get A. Right. And remember, an and is both must be true in order for it to true, be true. Now, if you and something with zero, you're going to kill it. Right. So if you have something like this where it's a and zero, you're going to get nothing. Right. Um, this uh, this property says if you and a and b, you're going to get b and a. It's the same thing. Um, and if you and a signal with itself, you just get itself. OK, so simple. Um, if you and something with its in inverse, you're always going to get a zero, right? Because if this is zero and you and it with one, well, that's false. Or if you have this zero and this is one, that's also false, okay? Um, another property is if you double invert, the little bar here means invert, by the way. If you double invert, you get uh, the same answer, right? So if you have A, let's say it's one, you invert it once, you get zero, you invert it again, you get one again. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, now for addition, addition is the equivalent to a logical or, right? So A or zero is still A, right? So some signal, uh, it, it's still itself, right? And so what is this saying? So if you have something like this, if you have A and if you have zero, you get A, right? And this is an or, if you guys remember, and this is an and. Now, if you take A and you or it with one, you get one, you've set it high. Right, so you get here with an and you have the ability to pass something through and kill it with an or you have the ability to pass something through or set it high. Okay, um, if you do an or of itself and its inverse, you will always have one. Right, and does that make sense? If this is one, that has to be zero, or of one and zero is one. If this is zero and that's one, or if zero, one, one, yeah, easy. So, all of these things are just easy to kind of prove. Uh, just by checking uh, the values of A, okay? Uh, if you or A with itself, just like the and, you get itself A, okay? So not so bad, right? And then I have a little note here. Uh, we're restricting ourselves to Boolean one or zero. So there's no such thing as A plus one is two, uh, if, even if A is one, okay? So let's look at this thing called the De Morgan's Laws. It looks, it looks complicated, but it's really not that bad. And it's like I said, it's going to be very useful for helping us understand how NAND gates and NOR gates can be used to create all the other logical operators. And so here's the idea. Let's say you have A and B. Well, it is equivalent to the inverse of A plus the inverse of B all inverted. Okay. Uh, if you have A plus B, it is equivalent to the inverse of A times the inverse of B all inverted. And uh, you might go, okay. Well, what's the pattern there? Well, here's the pattern. This is equivalent to taking the inputs first, number one, inverting them. Okay, you can see I've inverted the individual inputs and switching, if I have an and making an or, or for an or making an and, so you can see number two there. Okay, and then the third thing is inverting the entire expression. So let's just double check. Invert A, invert B, good. Make a multiply and add, good, and invert everything, good. Let's look at this one. Take A and B, invert it, make a add and multiply, good, and then invert everything. Excellent. Okay, so these are just two results of De Morgan's laws. If you invert, uh, the expression will be equivalent if you invert the input, switch ands to or, and invert the entire expression. Okay, and the beautiful, beautiful thing about this logic stuff is you can easily verify if this is actually true, right? Okay, so how could we verify that this is true? So let's make a truth table. And so the truth table is very simple. A and B, since there's two bits, two, uh, two to the two is four. So there's a total of four combinations, zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Okay, so we can just march down the line and go A inverse and B inverse and see what that gives us. A inverse is easy. It's just one, one, zero, zero. 
What about B inverses? Well, that's just one, zero, one, zero. That's pretty easy. Okay, what would be next? What about A plus B inverse? That's just the inside. So now I just look at these two and do an or. Yep, one, 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 and then the or of two zeros is zero, good. And then the last thing I could do here is I could just straight up invert it. So if I just invert it, I get zero, 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 one. And we recognize that, that is equivalent to just a pure and, right? Zero, 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 one. If I look back, A and B, this is only true when both are true. Excellent. So I'm hoping you're seeing that this is justified by just building out in this truth table. Okay, let's look at this bottom one, A plus B equals this. So again, we could do the same thing where we have the truth table, we write A inverse and B inverse. It's the same thing that we did here. But this time, instead of the or, we're going to do an and. So let's and these two. What do we get? This is one, zero, zero, zero. Perfect. Then what? If I do uh, the inverse of everything, I just invert the bit zero, one, one, one. And does that look like an or? Does this look like an or behavior? It sure does, because look, anytime there's a one here, we get a true, right? Okay, so hopefully this convinces you that the, these two cases of the De Morgan's laws work. All right, let's do an example. Let's say we have three logical inputs, A and B and C, right? And uh, this is a, a logical expression that will compute some output F, okay? So what is it saying? It's saying A and B and Z. In fact, I can even draw this for you guys. It's saying A, so if I have A, B, C, and I'm anding here, I can say if I have A, B, C go into here, and then uh, what do I have? I have uh, A, B, and C going into here. A, I gotta be careful here. Ooh, check this out. I can put a little knot, B knot, and then C in here. And then what's this last one? I can say A inverted. So I'm gonna put a little invert. Remember this little triangle with a bubble is the same as inverter, or inversion. B and then C. So I'm gonna jump over all of these things, okay? and. I can take all three of these and put it as a big or, this is F. So this is the visual representation of that guy, okay? So what it's saying is this implementation is equivalent to another version and we can use the De Morgan's laws to find an equivalent version. So how could we do this? Well, remember multiplication is and and addition is or. And what we could do is look at all the ands. So what do we have to do here, okay? So if I have A, B, C, look at this, invert A, invert B, invert C, and I put pluses where I see multiply, and I put a invert over the entire thing. Good. Okay, so can you see how this could replace that one? Good. What about this one over here? Well, I would have A inverse plus non-inverted B plus C inverse all inverted. And then the last one here, I would have A without the inverse, B with the inverse, and C all inverted. Okay. Now. I got to do one more thing, right? I have another layer of De Morgan's laws. Look at this. I have this plus here and this plus here. And, and you could imagine these as three big inputs like here, one, two, three. You could do it one more time. Check this out. These three things become non-inverted, which you see here. These pluses become multiply and the whole thing becomes inverted, right? So this expression here would be the equivalent of that one. Kind of crazy, but just to show you an example of how to apply De Morgan's laws. Okay, let's look at how we could use a NAND gate to create all. And what's the story behind this? Well, remember back in a few lectures ago, we looked at CMOS, right? CMOS transistors, which is a combination of NMOS and PMOS, were able to allow us to build a NAND gate. And if we can build an, uh, all the um, circuits from a, or logic gates from a NAND gate, that means we can build everything with CMOS. Pretty cool. So let's look, how would we build an inverter with a NAND gate? And what is an inverter? One input, one output. And if you have a NAND gate, check this out. If you tie the inputs together, what happens? A comes in here, and what are you doing? You have A and A, so you're gonna have A and A inverted, which is the same as A inverted, right? Let me just do that a little slowly. If I say A is here and A is here, okay? Can you see how this is A times A and because of the bubble, it's inverted? Yep. And that property from before, A times A is equal to A. Good. And so this is equal to A bar. Excellent. Okay. And then the truth table should result. If A is zero, 
or one, then a bar is one and zero. Same thing, okay? What about an AND gate? If I know how to make a NAND gate and I know how to make an inverter with just using a NAND gate, which is cool because this is an AND plus a dot, how could I make a AND gate? Well, I could take a NAND gate and just invert it, which is right here. So take a NAND gate, do an inversion, and I have at the end of the day, one big AND, okay? And notice everything is created with a NAND gate, right? So you're just combining NAND gates in different ways to get the behavior you want, okay? Now the OR gate is admittedly kind of complicated. So the OR gate looks like this. You take two inverters and a NAND, gross. But let's see, what does that give us? If I have an inverter here, I get A bar. And if I have an inverter here, I get B bar. And if I NAND these two things, I get A bar, B bar, OR or sorry, inverted. But that should look very similar. That should look exactly by De Morgan's laws like this. And so yes, this is implementing an OR gate with three NAND gates. Good. How would I make a NOR? Just invert, just add an inverter on the end. Easy, okay? And then the last one here is an exclusive OR. So the exclusive OR, remember, we want it only be true when either one of these are true, okay? And so this requires four NAND gates and it looks kind of like this. And if we break it down, what do we have? One, two, three, four. We have A going to this one and this one, B going to this one and this one, okay? And then the output's going to an AND. Let's just walk through what happens. I have A and B. So I get, remember when I just have this, this is just a straight up NAND, good. Now on this branch here, I have A and this branch, which is AB bar, all barred, good. But on the bottom, I have B, AB bar, all barred, because again, these are the NAND. And we'll call this X and Y just to make it easy, which means the output here is just X, Y bar, okay. What I wanna do is just walk through the truth table to see if, does X, Y bar match our intention of an exclusive OR? Let's double check. So we'll start with our truth table, A and B. And let's just walk through and do some simple stuff like AB bar. AB bar is one, 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 zero. That makes sense, right? Because remember AB, if it was just AB would just be zero, 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 one. The inversion of AB is just AB bar, good. So that's that center branch, okay? Now, what about this? What about A times AB, just the stuff under the inverse? So now I can just look at two columns and do this very simply. The and of these two, zero, zero, one, zero, good. And if I invert that to get X, what do I get? I get one, one, zero, one, good. So that's X. I can do the same thing for this guy. Let's double check, what do we got? We got B, A, B bar underneath the inversion. So B, A, B bar, so that's zero, one, zero, zero, good. And then I can invert it, so I get one, zero, one, one, because Y is the inversion. So now I have X and Y, all right? And if I do the X and Y and add them together, right? Or sorry, multiply them together, what do I get? So here's X and Y, one, zero, zero, one. But if I invert it, what do I get? I get zero, one, one, zero, which is exactly the behavior we expect because for a exclusive OR, this is what we want, zero, one, one, zero, and we get a match. Okay, so this is one way to implement an exclusive OR. And we can even show you this. So let's go over to a circuit sim and uh, I'm gonna share screen right here. So check this out. If you go to the Falstad circuit simulator and you go to circuits and uh, go to combinational logic, you can go to exclusive OR and it'll pop up with this example. And if I run this, look at this, low, low gets low. If I make this high, good, this is high. If I make the bottom high, the output is high, showing the exclusive nature. And if I make them both high, it brings it back to low. So this is perfectly implementing an exclusive OR with four NAND gates. Nice. Okay, let's do the last one. So uh, let me stop share here. Okay, and let's do the last one and run through. This should be pretty quick. It's just the NOR gates, right? It's the same idea. You can utilize NOR gates to create all the logic gates. 
And it's going to look very similar to this version where we use NAND gates. Well, the NOR gates, uh, remember a NOR is this A plus B with a bar, right? Okay. And so for an inverter, you're doing the same thing. You're actually tying the two inputs together, just as you did here. This also creates an inversion behavior. So what do you have? A plus A, yep, or the two inputs are now A and you OR it. And remember the property A plus A is the same thing. Yep, good. Okay, for an OR gate, how would you make that? Well, you could just put an inverter on the OR, easy, right? Throw an inverter on the NOR and then you get an OR, excellent. Okay, how would you do an AND gate? Now, like this one where it was a little bit tricky to see, right, for the OR gate, the AND gate is the one that's tricky to see and it looks like this. Okay, so what do you have? You have A inverse and B reverse because these are two inverters. And then you're going to NOR these guys. So you have A bar plus B bar all barred, which by De Morgan's is going to be AB. And we've seen that all the way over here, right? Okay, this law is right there. Boom. Okay, and this law here was the one that we saw here for the um, OR gate. Cool. Okay, what about a NAND gate? Well, you take this monstrosity and then just throw an inverter on the end and now you have a NAND gate, right? Okay, and then the last one is an exclusive OR uh, and similar to the other one, you have multiple um, NOR gates, right? But we add one more on the end, okay? And so if we walk through, we can just see what's going on. A goes to here and here, so you have a NOR, A plus B, bar, good. And then you go to the top one, what do we have? We have A plus A plus B bar, all inverted, good. And on the bottom you have B plus A plus B bar, all inverted. And I'll just call this X and Y to make it easy. And then you have X plus Y bar. And then the last thing, because we're just running it through an inverter, just have X plus Y. So we are claiming that X plus Y in this case is gonna give us the exclusive OR behavior. Let's check it out. So again, we build a truth table, A, B, good. We can just walk through these easy, easy uh, scenarios, right? Just to logically build our, our, our foundation here. A plus B bar is gonna be one, zero, zero. Don't forget A plus B is what? Zero, one, one, one. So these should be the inversion, good. Okay, so then we can do maybe this one, A plus A plus B bar, right? So A plus A plus B bar is one, zero, one, one, good. And then invert, that's easy, that's X, easy. So that's zero, uh, one, zero, zero, good. Okay, because I'm just inverting this. I can do the bottom, B plus A plus B bar, right? So what do we get? B plus A plus B bar, so that's or one, one, zero, one, good. And the, the Y, I can also just invert, right? Zero, zero, one. Now I could write this, but look, because you invert it and invert it again, you get X plus Y. I can just do the OR of X plus Y directly and look what I get, zero, one, one, zero. Perfect, and that matches an exclusive OR behavior. Easy, 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 okay? So let's move on. Uh, we'll move on to the next lecture after this and we'll go into half and full adders. Hope you learned something this one. Okay, see you in the next one.